Good afternoon. Andito na naman tayo, Dr. Galisa. Our subject matter for what we call humanity for is regarding the medium of the visual arts. So what are all these uh, medium all about? This refers to the material which is used by the artist. Ito yung mga material na ginagamit ng ating mga artist para mapaganda ang kanilang mga arts. Example, in number one is painting. In the painting of arts is, this is a creati a creating meaningful effect on the flat surface. Ibig sabihin, they made their paintings by the use of pigments. So ito yung mga materials na ginagamit in painting. So we have, uh, they have their own strokes, they have, they have their own ways, and they have, they have all their own materials. In, they have that, that what we call, we have the plaster, the canvas, and the wood or paper ang gamit sa painting. So what are the, the things included in painting? Number one is oil. So they use oil, ginagamit nila ang oil in painting. Pero may combinations din itong mga oil na ito. There is also color used on it. And then ito yung ginagamit nila sa pagpapaint. So using all these colors, the pig pigments came from the material of flexible matter, uh, yung mga coil, tars, and other chemical combinations. So ito yung ginagamit nila ang oil. Ang, ang, kaya lang... There are two kinds of uh, methods in painting of the oil is we have the direct and the indirect. So direct methods, ito yung direct na technique. So we have direct and the indirect technique of these methods. So, so the medium of oil is very popular. It is very important and it is very popular in using this. So, ang example ng mga oil is painting is Maria Makiling, painted by uh, Carlos Francisco or Botong Francisco. This is the example of the arts of the Maria Makiling is a sample of the arts canvas. Kaya lang may disadvantage daw ito. Ang disadvantage ng using oil is madali, eh, pag nagtagal ay nag-fade din ito. Then we have also the Sarisari by Norma Baliesa. Then si Juan Luna, ginamit din niya ito sa kanyang uh, part Shan Life. Ito ay yung kanyang painting. So, so in, this was done in 19, 19, 1857 I should say. So, maraming painters ang gumamit sa tinatawag natin oil. Another is, number two is tempera. So, under the materials is the oil. The next is tempera. So, ito yung mga ginagamit na, na tempera is also very popular before. Ito yung may halo ng itlog, egg, and then gums or glue. So, this is used by the Egyptian. So, painters, the, the tempura painting, an example nito ay ang uh, Resurrections with Two Angels. Yun ang sample ng tempera. And then, next is watercolor. Pag sinabi natin watercolor, ito yung with water and color na ginagamit natin sa papel. So, we draw, it, we draw, we have the drawing and then we color it with watercolors. Alam na natin watercolor na yan. And then, pastel. So, pag sinabit natin pastel, ito yung mga color din na with, with on the surface. That, eh, pero ang karamihan dito is light. It gives glared effect to the most closely resembled dry pigments, sabi nila. So, ang pastel ay ginagamit din sa painting sa papel. O sa canvas din, pastel board or canvas pwede rin ito. Another is fresco. The most popular type of painting is fresco. The color are mixed with water and applied in the press pl uh, plaster down, which absorb the color. So, yeah, may combination din ng mga, may mga colors ito. It is used by the painters. So, 
Ang sampo nito ay sisa. So, the Philippine the sisa is one of the sample of the what we call uh, they use the what we call the pastel uh I the fresco painting. Marami tayong mga paint paints na ginawa ginawa gina, ginamit ito yung anting-anting and then and then the the blue or the sea. Yeah. So we have many famous uh, painters. Meron tayo rito, number one, is Fernando Amorsolo. Fernando Amorsolo is one of our painters who's very, very popular. Painting uh, nationalistic, more of culture, Filipino culture, customs, ang, ang ginagamit niya, ang mga paints niya about fiesta and occupations, and more of uh, Filipino cultures. And we have also Fabian de la Rosa. Fabian de la Rosa, he was noted being the outstanding painter of women portrait. Karamihan sa mga uh, painting niya is about women. And then we have also Carlos Botong Francisco. Siya ang nag-paint nag, nag ng Maria Makiling, The Blood Compact. And yan. Uh, he's also very famous during that time. And we have also his Jose Fa, Jose. Joya. Ito siya ay isang Pilipinong abstract painter din siya. So, si si Jose ay isa rin one of the famous uh, painter natin. More of the dynamic spontaneity and and quick uh, gestures ang ginagamit technique niya. So, mabilis. Yung parang sumasayaw ang kanyang mga paintings. And then we have also ang 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 Q Kong uh, is the first uh, he he first attained prominence in the Philippines as seen in in 1960. He he influenced from Cubism, Surrealism, and Expressionism. So isa rin siya sa mga painter na mahilig magpaint ng Expressionism. And then we have Juan Duna is very popular. So, she, uh, she, I, uh, in 1984, is Spol, uh, Polarium, he won one of the national uh, exposition of fine arts in Madrid. Yan, magaling yan. The death of Cleopatra, siyang nag-drawing yan. Marami siyang mga, ay, marami, marami siyang painting. And then we have also Vicente uh, Manansala. He he's, he's, he was the one who who, who painted Madonna, Madonna of Islam, yan Stations of the Cross, and we have also Bernardo Ocampo. Bernardo Ocampo is um, ang ano niya is yung Philippine flora and fauna and portrays sunshine and stars and rains. Yeah, ang nag nagpaint tungkol diyan. Abstract opposition of biological forms ang gamit niya. So si Damian Domingo is another painter. Uh, he was uh, an active and early part of 19th century painter of of ano to, portraits of more of religious images. Yan. Si Maura Malang Santos naman, uh, siya yung 10 outstanding young men uh, awarded din siya in and then yan ang ano niya magagaling mag, mga mga bata na rin ito mga, mga new uh, ano natin painters na natin ito and then we have Benedicto Cabrera he is the pioneer among Filipino painters skillful and soulful depictions of social issues more of social issues ang kanyang ano and then we go to sculpture. So what are the use in materials used in sculpture? They use bone, they use uh, uh, wood, bone, metal. Yan ang mga gamit naman nila. So sa pag-sculpture, pag ginagamit nila ang stone, ginagamit nila ang stone sa pag inukit nila. Example, doon sa UP yung, ano, yung UP oblation, ah, uh, more of stones ang gamit nila and ano. So, pag sculpture, ito kasi yung inuukit nila. Iniukit nila. So, pwedeng kahoy ito, pwedeng metal. Ngayon, pwede pa yung sabun ginagamit nila sa pag-sculpt. 
Okay. So they use stones, bronze, and other materials. So, um, sa, sa ano, ginagamit nila sa plata o Michael Angelo, mga yung iba, ginagamit nila yung marble. And then the head of the uh, stolony, ay usually ang gamit nila is marble. So sa wood kasi, Madali kasi yung uh, mag-ukit ng wood. Tingnan nyo yung mga igorot natin. Ang gamit nila is more of wood carving. Nag-wood carving sila. So, gumagawa sila ng isang rebulto ng tao sa pamamagitan ng kahoy. May ivory din. Unlike wooden sculpture, may ivory. Ito yung mga bato na ginagamit. Pero hindi natin ginagamit dito usually kasi may kamahalan. So, Ang tera kota material daw ay bihira na ginagamit dahil may kamahalan. Parang metal din ito na, na ay parang clay ito na niluluto. So hindi uh, hindi ito uh, formative, uh, hindi ito basta-basta nagagamit, may kamahalan. So maraming other materials na ginagamit natin sa ating mga sa sculpture. We have the metal, aluminum, kung ano-ano pa dyan. na pwedeng, basta pwedeng, pwedeng plastic, pwedeng ano, na pwedeng iporma. And then we go to architecture, ano ba itong mga material nila? More of stones and woods and metal. So, nagde-design sila, depende kung ano ang gusto mong i-design. Katulad nito, this is the design. Agawa sila ng form ng metal, pukormahan nila ng ganyan. So, example, yung entrance ng bahay, ganyan ang gusto na gawin design. Uh, so, in the form of metal, or either wood, or stones, yun ang gamit nila. So, and then, yun nga, magka-create na sila ng mga buildings, ganyan, ang sample na ito, uh, uh, creating a building. So, sa ating mga ano, sa ating mga artists, they are using a lot of materials. Pwedeng mahal, depende ito sa gustong, lalo sa, sa architect. At may pera naman, more of materials na magaganda katulad ng bricks, gano'n. So, it's up for the the owner kung anong gusto niyang ipagawa. Pwede rin kahoy o wood kung anong gusto niya ipadesign o pwede rin stones. Kaya ngayon, marami pa tayong mga good stones and designs. Yung katulad ng bricks designs. Pwede mo rin gawin ito na ilalagay sa sala para it's a part of the architect, art, uh, arts ng architect. So, we are happy and glad that we have many intelligence people who are artists. They have the talent and intelligence to do this. And the reason why we are studying this is because it's, this is one way to appreciate. This is one way to discover. Malay mo, isa rin tayo dyan sa mga artists na yan. Then, we can make money out of this. So, again, do you understand the different kinds of materials used by our artists in painting, sculpture, and, and others? Well, again, good day and good afternoon.